Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 15th, 2021. Once again, I recorded the video this morning and had a, a codec problem and uh, crashed the video. So I am uh, re-recording again for the second day. So I apologize, guys. Apparently, I have a software problem. I will get that resolved. I apologize. This will be late. So I'm once again going to talk really fast today. Um, Diamonds did a nice job yesterday moving up very, very strongly. We still have this downtrend here that we have to deal with. We're gapping up through our 50 day moving average. So let's be really, really careful here. I want to point out another point in the chart where we had this breakdown where we had a good sharp breakdown and we rally back. Look for that little resting pullback as we cross back up through the 50 day. Notice we pushed through the 50 day right here, pulled back and then we had that pop and the reason i'm bringing that up guys is the high risk of chasing this move this morning because there's not much of a stop underneath that level and as we push back up into this resistance level just keep in mind we've moved so many points so quickly wouldn't be out of the question to see a little bit of a resting pullback, a little bit of profit taking coming into that market. But bulls are definitely in control this morning. We're trying to spike this up again this morning. So let's watch that close. Then let's take a look quickly at our SPY. SPY also pushing up into those price resistance levels, trying to gap above its 50 day moving average this morning. Keep a close eye on that. Again, we're a little bit stretched out in that short term. And I want to caution you as we approach these price resistance levels that that's where we could see some bears, a little bit of profit taking. And we do have some potential things in the economic reports that could provide a little bit of a stumbling block. So watch that closely. Bulls are definitely in control. A lot of technical damage is being improved here or um, repaired here. So um, that's a good sign. But just don't be too surprised if we get that little resting pullback in that chart. Then let's take a look at the Q. Now QQQ has a little bit more work to do. We're trying to pop up this morning, but notice that pop up gap up this morning isn't even going to quite make it to the 50 day moving average. And this is one of those potential stumbling blocks. Just keep in mind if the QQQ runs up here, runs into this price resistance and finds a few sellers that could really dampen the spirits in the SPY and the diamonds. So watch that closely if that were to catch some reason to just pull back or rest a little bit. What is nice about this chart for sure is that we have broken through this downtrend now and um, not it's not uncommon guys when we break through um, like that we get a little resting pattern. So here right here we broke down a little bit rallied up and we had a resting pattern. So break through maybe a little resting pattern to confirm this support area and deal with this area right in here in the chart. Just pr prove that we can hold. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at the Russell. IWM did a really great job yesterday. We had those financials, Excel F, uh, pushing up yesterday and we had energy continuing to push higher. Now, at some point in time, energy continuing to push higher could be a little bit bearish for the market. But for now, that's been a really good thing for the Russell. However, pushing back up, we're back above our 50 day moving average, looking pretty good there. And it was a good solid move. But let's keep in mind, guys, that we're just pushing into the top side of that downtrend right here in the chart and then we have nearly a year of congestion in here that we still have to work through so i'm not a hundred percent sure this is just the all clear here on um, iwm so watch that closely we're up at the top side of that wedging pattern here on on the russell so watch that close how about we take a quick look at our vix now our vix had a good day yesterday seeing those um, uh, that fear really drop out and I've been pointing out this upside trend 
that did drop out. Notice we had this nice little lower high in here come into place. So we've got a little downtrend going on in the chart. But that said, when we break down below a support level, again, if we were to have a little bit of a profit taking wave, or if for some reason economic data kind of dampens that bullish spirit this morning, kind of watch for that possibility that this could move back up, hitting this um, uh, downtrending uh, move in the VIX. Not saying that fear is going to spike back up, but we could definitely see a test back up in here before we continue to push down. So watch closely for that. And then let's take a look at our T2122. And I gotta tell you guys, this is where I see a little bit of problem, a little bit of worry. If you, and I know no one wants to hear this, um, notice where we closed the day yesterday. If I pull this back, I don't care how far back you go, you're going to find that whenever we spike up into this area, the market finds a reason to pull back. We become overbought in the short term. Now, that overbought condition can be just a, a modest little pullback and then we bounce right back up but we are going to be probably gapping up or even right near um, that um, 100 level here in that chart. And that suggests a little bit of caution. It also points to that fact that we could get a little rest or a little consolidation, a little resting pullback could occur in that, um, that chart for that very reason so watch that closely it's just another one of those caution things out there to be careful not to chase there is that possibility of a little bit of a profit taking pullback a little bit of a consolidation up here at those levels and then if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 had that move that we've been waiting for we've been looking for getting a little bit of levity with stocks breaking back above that um that downtrend here and we have now have 47 percent of our stocks above our 200 day moving average so that's providing that little bit of levity that can help us out and we broke through some price resistance in that chart as well so if we get any kind of a resting pullback in here that holds up in here that could actually be bullish for the market if we can hold those higher lows and start to see some of those stocks that have been way oversold start to lift up so watch that close let's take a look at our t2101 this still um you know our our market breadth content remains very very light very weak notice we're pushing down here into this low area where we typically get some kind of bounce now that some kind of bounce could be a little bit of a bearish pushback so watch that close and we continue to run in this downtrend so watch that carefully if we were to get a little resting pullback a little bit of bearishness we might see this breath spike up again so watch that close let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today in our economic calendar guys this is where we're going to see um, those potential challenges in the market that we'll want to keep an eye on. Notice we have retail sales here before the market opens this morning. And by the time I get this video out, you might already know what that number is. So I apologize again for this being late. But take a look at that retail sales number. Uh, consensus is expecting this to come in at a negative point one a negative 0.1 down from a positive 0.7 last month now we know retail sales can be a a major damper on the market if we don't see those consumers out there spending um, that could be a problem for us so watch that one closely that could really give us that stumbling block and then we still have empire state import export business inventories and i think the other one that could be really important for us to keep an eye on today is this consumer sentiment consensus has this moving a little bit higher okay so um if it if it continues to push up just a little bit that would be a good sign if it falters a little bit that could be a negative for the market as well so watch carefully on that sentiment number then on the earnings calendar if we take a look at those earnings calendar we have um, almost 20 companies reporting are on the calendar today but honestly only whoops that's the blog but only um eight of those companies are even confirmed now the reports that we're going to be keeping an eye on today we're going to be keeping an eye on goldman sachs 
um, reporting today, trying to work into through that downtrend and push up here today. Watch that carefully. Got some resistance here to deal with. PNC Financial um, is on the list today, trying to break out to new highs. We've got JB Hunt, and this is a good sign for the market because I mentioned um, that transports have been a little bit weak. And you can see big move here on JB Hunt as it's pushing up, trying to break out here in this chart. So if those transports can perk up and start moving, that will help us out quite a bit here in the market. So if you want the full list of notables, guys, just click the link just below the title of the video that will take you back to the morning blog and you can catch all of those notables. So how about we move right along here and let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, do me that quick favor. Click that subscribe button, click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Also, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that continues, that engagement continues to help the channel to grow and thank you to everyone who does that. And also just a big shout out to everyone who shares these videos out on your social media feed and um, also supports the channel through the buy me a coffee link. I truly, truly appreciate that guys. You guys humble me and there's gonna be some changes coming. I'm excited about them. Hopefully you like them as well. So so let's take a look at some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade let's take a look at amd amd here moving up strongly and you guys remember i've been talking about this for a while talking about this possible trade there was the alert for the position a low risk entry trade moving on higher now that we've kind of stretched up here to the upside the market has really kind of stretched itself out you might want to watch this carefully because we could get that little resting pullback in here at any time so i would suggest not to chase notice we have some price resistance in the chart right there get that next little entry coming into play for amd and also keep uh, yourself aware of this earnings event coming up in the chart take a look at Intel now Intel is one of those charts and by the way this is that tried and true pattern that I've been mentioning we break that downtrend hold that higher low and we start moving up so Intel Intel is just that kind of pattern that could be coming around whoops let me get the all of these lines off of here so we can describe this a little bit notice right in here we've held some support levels in this chart bounced up strongly off of that level now we're trying to push into this downtrend on intel and intel's been one of those stocks that's been beat up it's one of those techs that hasn't been overcooked you know um like we've seen microsoft and apple they just keep pushing and pressing and pressing and pressing and their pe ratios are way out of control well, take a look right here. We have a stock that's been beat down. And if that crosses up here, we have that opportunity that that holds that higher low and really takes off. This is one of those stocks that could really do something good if it can get up out of that mess. So keep a close eye, put it on the list. It's not ready yet. Here's another example of a chart like that. And you, let's take a look at UPS. Now UPS had a big upgrade come in yesterday. And here's that pattern again, where we're trying to break out of that downtrend and we pop on through if we can hold that higher low up here hold this support area in here and start up and notice guys that creates an inverted head and shoulders pattern and that opportunity here in that chart so don't chase that big move just let that thing rest consolidate or pull back find that nice low risk entry into the trade I've got to tell you it's one of my favorite patterns and i've got a video coming out on this relatively soon on that pattern so keep a close eye on that chart um, uh, another chart I'm gonna mention here because I have been mentioning this for a while um, right way options we're in this trade and oh my goodness um, no one expected it to do this well but the reason I'm pointing this out guys is notice here's that pattern on the shorter term we're breaking that trend rallying up above some resistance and holding in here and then we're off to the races and why that's important i'm going to make this a weekly chart and i want you to see that we have another a huge 
downtrend here in that chart and we have just broken above that level so if i go back to the daily here notice that if we get some kind of a resting pullback in here that holds anywhere along this trend and breaks that big downtrend there's more upside potential in this chart so keep an eye on that kmi big big opportunity could be on the way now i plan to hold this through earnings um, that's something we're all going to have to be paying close attention to is all these earnings reports but watch that carefully um, i'm holding this as a covered call position so i'm going to continue to hold through that to the upside now guys i had more stocks to cover here this morning but because i'm so late on this video now I'm going to cut this off. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And also, be safe. Have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.